my little huckleberries. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yamane back with another video. And today I got some juicy, juicy, juicy shit, y'all. I got a story time. As you see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a story time on the time I fought my best friend's little sister. It's good, so grab your snacks, grab your popcorn, grab all of that. I got my food right here. Don't call me fat baby, but I got two sandwiches. And I already ate half of it, but yeah, but um, so grab your stuff is gonna be good. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And just I'm gonna get right into it because this is gonna be long. Alright, it's a long story, so okay, so this was back in eighth grade. And I'm not going to say their names or anything, but they know who they are. If you went to Veterans, then you know. Veterans is a school in Newton County. So this was 8th grade year. And it was in 8th grade, I had these four friends. No, three friends. The other girl, she was not a part of it. But I had these three friends. So the four of us, we would always do everything together, right? We would like go like my mom would take us to parties all the time we would they would always sleep at my house sleep at other people's house and we just gonna call them one two and three okay so one two and three so me and number one was the closest out of the group like that was my dog like i was close with her before i was close with two and three so Number two, me and her was kind of close, and then me and three became close because of number two. So that's how the four of us all started hanging out because we all met through each other. So around eighth grade, we all, towards like the end of eighth grade, we was like mad close. Like in the halls, you you seen us. Like if you seen one of us, you seen all of us. Like we was always together. And everybody hated us, but that's just how we was. So number three had a little sister and she was like not even a i think a year apart or like some months but it was like basically the same age but her sister was in like seventh grade while we was in eighth grade and when i tell you three sister would like always want to be with us like she will always like wherever three was her sister had to go like if i like i remember three couldn't come to my house because my mom was taking us to a party she couldn't come unless her sister came like what like we it was just so annoying and number three sister we're just gonna call her bob so number three sister is bob bob talked so much like she just talked so much and mind you me and three wasn't even that close we was just close because of number two and number two was really messy back then like she just always wanted to be known and all that but she chilled down now but back then she was like an instigator you know and then number one we think alike and we smart we don't we don't we're not stupid so number one me and her have minds alike so number three sister bob she she will always like talk like she run her mouth so much and swear like nothing's gonna happen to her like she would just talk so much and me and number one we would get irritated sometimes but we would never say anything because like we just like okay like she's in seventh grade that's what they do or whatever i'm sorry y'all <laughs> that's the bad story behind it so but this is in the in the um in the um eighth grade and that time builds up like this is a daily thing we go to school every day her sister just talks so much talk 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 run her mouth i let stuff slide like, i'm the type of person you can't get me out my character easily if you're a female i'm not gonna entertain you like i barely mess with females so if you're talking i let it slide but you you got a few times to say some really slick stuff and then I, that's when i'm gonna spaz out but that's that's besides the point but she just kept i just let it slide all school year right so our graduation comes you know we have a little graduation for eighth grade going to high school so we had a graduation. Graduation night came and we had our ceremony and all that. And all our all our parents were close. But like I said, me and number one, our parents was close, closer than all the rest of the parents. But we was all cool. So after the thing, we took pictures, our group pictures, because you know us four. Our, our parents wanted to take pictures together. Our parents were talking. And me and number one, we was like, I don't want to just go home. Let's do something. Mind you, it's a school night. This was the day before the last day of school. So it was, it was a school night and nothing was really open. It was like eight or nine, maybe, I don't know like what was open. Anything was open was like downtown and our parents wasn't driving us downtown. So we was like, um, 
I was like, you just want to come up to my house or something like that. And then that's when our parents were talking. And number two and three was like, if y'all going somewhere, we going too. Which was true. But like, me and number one used to hang out more, way more than two and three or the other way around. Like, me and her would stay at each other's house. Like, that was my dog. And she she knows who she is. She watching this video. But yeah, she moved to another state. And I miss her so much. But that was my dog. Like, our, our, I love her. Like... But that's besides the point. So that's how we all came to the conclusion. Like we gonna go out to eat for a little bit. And so the only thing that was open was Golden Corral. I think it closed at 10, it was like eight or nine, like around eight or nine. So our mom, my mom takes us, to, drops us off to, at Golden Corral. And number three mom is gonna meet us at Golden Corral and pick us up. So that's what happened. We all went to Golden Corral and it was supposed to be the four of us. Tell me why number three mom come and said bob has to come too like so bob ended up coming to the restaurant with us and we was all sitting there or whatever and before this night i think she made me mad i don't i don't remember exactly i'm in 11th grade now like i don't remember this was like three years ago but she said she like she would all me and her will argue the most because she just had a mouth on her I forgot what she said, but she said something like the before the graduation, before we went out to eat, she was, she was just talking and just running her mouth. I was really irritated. So after, after, oh, I forgot to tell y'all the plan, the plan was for my mom to drop us off. Her mom, number three and Bob's mom was supposed to meet us at go to corral. And my mom was going to pick all, us, all of us up from number three and Bob's house. Number three and Bob, our sisters, remember that. So they was going to pick, my mom was going to pick all of us up from, not all of us, but me, one, and two, and take us back to my house. So we ate or whatever, and at the restaurant, she was just talking, 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 like just running her mouth, trying to be funny, trying to be cute, like just doing too much. So I told her, I said, I said, just wait till we get to your house, just wait. And she wanted to get loud. Like, she's the type of person who make a scene. She wanted to be loud and, like, no. So, she's just getting loud. I'm just like, okay. We get to her, her house. And at, when, as soon as we get there, I wasn't like, okay, let's go. Like, I wasn't like that. Like, we was chilling at first. And I had honestly forgot about it. We was chilling. We was all in three's room. I think Bob went in her room for a little bit. But, you know, of course, she gonna come in there. She was in there. And number two was live. Of course she was live because she all, like I said, she wanted to be known. She wanted everybody to know what we was doing. So she was live, of course, which we didn't mind it because we was used to it, you know? She knew everybody, like everybody knew her. She knew everybody. So it was a lot of people in that live that night. And so they was just all in the live and we was just chilling, listening to music. Mind you, it's like 10 o'clock on a school night. We eighth grade, we thought we was doing something. Like we thought we was doing something. So. Here come Bob in the room trying to be funny on live. And I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said something funny about, I think it was something about this boy that I was talking to in middle school, trying to be funny like, oh, he don't want me for real, something like that, something stupid. And then that's when it clicked. I was like, oh, didn't I say wait till we get to your house? Mind you, I'm the thickest one in the group. Like I'm the biggest girl, I'm the thickest. Number one was small, skinny. Number two was skinny. Number three, skinny. Like, they was all small. And so, I'm the thickest one. So, we at three's house. And mind you, it's graduation night. So, I had on a dress. My nails were done. I had a weave in and all of that. So, I'm, I'm like, not prepared to, like, fight. So, I was like, okay, give me some shorts. Because I had a dress on. No, I'm, like, nothing. And I'm not going to fight you in my underwear. Like, so, I was like, give me some shorts. I, <laughs> she gave me these small shorts, knowing that I'm big, like, girl, I can't fit that, like, what are you doing? So she gave me these small shorts, they were tight, but I was managed, I managed to squeeze them to them. So I had on some shorts, right, and a white dress over it, and I had, my hair was um, in a sewing, and I had to pull it back, and then I had nails. She, Bob had nails too. Yeah, she had nails at the time. So as I'm changing or whatever, she's just talking in the room on live to the people on the live. If you was on the live, you probably remember. But she was just talking and I'm just changing. I can hear her through the door. So I come in the room and it's dark and the lights were like um, off or whatever. 
So I'm like, okay, what's up? What's up? Like, you just talking, what's up? And at this time, she started laughing. She started taking me as a joke. Like, she thought something, something was funny. And I was so serious. No, I wasn't serious at first. I lied. I was I was laughing with her, too. Because at first, we was playing. But, like, still tension. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was playing with her at first. It wasn't serious to the point where I hated her or nothing like that. So I'm, like, laughing kind of. But I'm like, like, what's up? Like, you was talking all that. Like, what's up? You know what I'm talking about, females. Like, if you have friends, you know? So, here go... Um, I almost said her name. Here go two on live. Like, oh, they finna fight, record, all of that. Number one, she just chilling. Like, okay, go. Like, she she got me or whatever. So, we get to fighting at first. And we both had nails on. We hitting or whatever. I'm getting some hits in. She getting some hits in. And we fighting. And the first time, one of her nails came off. So, she got mad. Well, she didn't get mad, but she, like... She was like, oh, you breaking my nails, something like that. I'm just like, okay, my nails still on, so I'm straight. So she like, I don't even care, I'm gonna pay to get a filling. I'm like, okay, if you don't care, let's go. Like, what are you doing? Round two. So she's talking all that, I'm like, let's go. And then that's when she wanna get all bugged and stuck. All right, so we was fighting. Her nails kept falling off. She was getting mad and mad. And when she get mad, she started running her mouth. So she started talking about me. I don't remember what she's saying, but she was probably like, Oh, you ugly, you this and that, you stink, this and that. I'm not trying to do no talking, baby. Fight me. So at this time, we mad, we heated. Cause she talking about me, I'm talking about her. So like, what's up? So we fighting. It's getting, it's getting heated. Number two, just recording everything, laughing, giggling. Number three, laughing, laughing at her sister. Just number three was not the type. She wasn't like, to me, if you fighting my sister and stuff is getting heated, like that's it. Like y'all not fighting no more. You're going to have to fight me. But she was just laughing, laughing at like, she didn't care. So we fighting and all that. And I'm just, at this point, I'm mad. So I'm really fighting her. And she, she's, she's like light skin, like yellow. So you can see her hits. So I, so her face is red. She's scratched up and stuff. So I'm fighting her and I'm getting mad. I'm hitting her, hitting her. I think I hit her to the, on the bed. I, I threw her on the bed. We're just rolling on the bed. Like we just fighting. Number three room getting messed up. Bob just mad, like mad. I'm chilling. Well, I'm not chilling, but I'm mad too. But I'm not, I wasn't as, I wasn't as bruised up and scratched up as her. Now, I'm going to give it to y'all. She was a, a little bit smaller than me. But as much as she be talking, she should have something to back that up. So, so she, um, so I think they broke it up or whatever. And she, she's crying. Like, you know how when you're so mad, you crying? She crying. She like, she, and her, mind you, her mom is downstairs asleep. They live in a, a small, like, townhouse. So, like, it's not that much room. So, I, I don't know how her mom didn't wake up through all of this. But her mom is just downstairs sleeping. She's at this point, Bob is screaming. She like, get out of my house. I don't mess with you. She's talking about my mom, my dad, all of that. Like she just mad. And and as she talking, she making me mad. So I'm trying to like keep fighting her. Like, you not like I was just mad. And she just talking. She was like, get out of my house. Da -da 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 -da. She go downstairs. No, this is this is the problem. She she talking right. She like get out of my house. I don't mess with you. You this, you that, you stank and all that. She was like get your stuff and go. I was like you gonna have to make me leave. She was like okay. Where your stuff at? Where your stuff at? Number two gonna say her shoes downstairs. You supposed to be my friend. Like why? What would what did you gain from that? Like, you just want to see something. Like, ever since that day, me and number one talked about that. Because in a car, me and number one was texting. And remember, me and number one like this. Who was like, bro, like, she she's so grimy for that. Like, what did you gain from that? Like, you wanted her to, to do something with my stuff. You wanted to see something happen. But you're supposed to be my friend. But we thought she just did that just for the live or whatever. And mind you, number number two is live. While all of this is going on, while it's getting heated on that, she's still live. So we just like, oh, yeah, so she live. So Bob like, oh, okay. She go downstairs. 
I didn't follow her. And she come back up on my shoes and she opened three window and tried to throw them out the window. When she tried to, before she could do that, I snatched my shoes out of her head and then we started fighting again. And somehow I, I pushed her towards the window, but she didn't, she didn't fall out or nothing or it wasn't hanging out the window, but she had fell a little bit. And that's when, um, I think we scratched up through this wall or something and she was getting mad. Like she started getting objects to defend herself cause her hands wasn't working. So she was getting mad. She went to the bathroom, you know, the toilet bowl, like holder thing for your tissue. She took that off the wall, tried to throw it at me, but missed. And I and, and then she had number three had some juice in her room. She took the cup and threw it at me and missed. And it got all over three wall and three just laughing. She laughing. One like yo, one from New York. So she like yo, y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. She was like, y'all know we need to go. She called my dad. She was like, come get us all of that. I told my dad come get us. And then I was like, I was like, two, you could come or you could stay here. And then cause that night she just made me so mad. Like you supposed to be my friend and he gon like. So we was like, we was like, we leave it anyway. And so I'm mad. She messed up. Like, she we tore up three room. Like, her room was messed up. She had juice stains on the wall, all of that. Like, so we leaving all that. We just cussing at each other. And she she called herself kicking us out. She got have that. So she kicked us out. And I didn't know that her house had a ring, like a doorbell in Atlanta. I'm, I'm pretty sure all states got this. It's like a doorbell and it got a camera. And you can see and hear everything. So... That night she kicked us out. I'm I'm pissed. Like I'm mad. And when I'm mad, I'm crying. And my friends, they said they never seen me like this. Like they never seen me like this. So I'm mad. I'm cussing. I'm just mad. And I'm like, I call my dad again. I'm like, where you at? Like, you need to come. And I'm just outside. And we walked down to the end of the driveway. I started kicking her mailbox. I was spitting on it. I was just acting a fool. Just acting out. Like I was so mad. And and I didn't know that they had the ring thing. And if I did, I probably still wouldn't care because I was just that mad. So the next day, I mean that night, two, when we got in the car, two gonna check on Bob. Not saying, cause I guess, cause, I, cause two and three were close, then closer than me and her was, we was all still cool. So I guess her and Bob had a better relationship than us. I don't know, but she gonna check on Bob and I peeped that. And I told number one, when I had got back to the house, I was like, bro, like, um, I don't like, I don't like how number two acted that night and all of that and how she cared more about Bob when I knew you longer. I knew her since like fourth grade and we'd be close and we'd be doing stuff and you're going to like, you know, because if, if somebody did that to y'all, if y'all was in my footsteps, y'all would feel the same way. So we and her was just talking and number one felt the same way because number two did some messed up stuff to number one. So they actually fell out over the summer, but that's, that's a whole other story for a whole other day. But yeah, so she was just agree with me, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't know about this one. But I still end up being two friends because she explained herself at the end of the day. And so the next day, it was the last day of school, and I was mad. And I was like, if I go to school, I'm a, I'm a, um, gonna fight her again. And they, they was talking about if you do something on the last day of school, cause we was already on lockdown, and they, and we didn't have a field day, we didn't have nothing. So they was like, if y'all try something on the last day of school, next day you come back. You going next day, I'm not next day, but next summer you come back, you're going to get suspension and we're going to remember it and all of that. So I was just like, I'm not going to school. Like, I'm just not going to school. So she caught herself saying, oh, she's scared of me because I didn't come to school. No, I just have a better mindset. Like, I, I think smarter than you. But... Yes, yeah, she was just running her. She was she I guess she came to school ready to fight because people was texting me and stuff and was like, oh, da 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 da. But yeah, that's really the moral the like the whole story really. But that night and number two is supposed to be sending me footage for the um video. I don't know if she do, but if she do, I'll insert it right here at the end of this video. But that night and ever since that night I haven't talked to her. And number two still talked to her. Like, even after that, over the summer, going into high school, when people say your friends change going into high school, they, they really do, like, but, yeah, so number two was just still talking to her over the summer, all of that, and it, it just blew me, and all I had was number one at the end of the day, me and number three don't talk at all, me and Bob sure, sure don't talk, and I barely talk to two, 
number one is the only one I really say that like that's still my friend to this day like but I forgot I was gonna say something else but I forgot y'all about the um the doorbell the video her mom came up to the school because she's seen the video on her camera on her doorbell and she she knew about everything and she's seen all of that on her um ring thing I don't even know. But I didn't know that. But moral of the story is don't let people get you out of your character. Don't fight nobody unless you truly have to. Cause that night I didn't have to fight her. Honestly. Thank y'all for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Bye. Yeah.